the President of the United States. President Trump just finished his first address to a joint session of Congress. This is a formality that all presidents do once a year, and he delivered a rather conventional speech for an unconventional president. It was subdued in its tone. It touched on policy areas that are all very familiar in terms of what this president has said he would do. He talked about immigration reform. By finally enforcing our immigration laws, we will raise wages help the unemployed, save billions and billions of dollars, and make our communities safer for everyone. And he talked about repealing Obamacare, but it was done without the kind of bombast and sharp rhetoric that he typically delivers. Obamacare is collapsing, and we must act decisively to protect all Americans. When talking about these policies, he spoke a little bit about foreign policy. The speech didn't focus that much on those issues, but what little he did say, he kind of soft, again, softened the edges for some of his rhetoric um, that we've heard since he's taken office and certainly during the campaign. Our foreign policy calls for a direct, robust, and meaningful engagement with the world. It is American leadership based on vital security interests that we share with our allies all across the globe. In the speech in Congress, he committed to America's alliances. He, at the same token, said that he will need Democrats to help him with some of his policies. So there was a unifying theme that was threaded throughout the speech. And there was also one very emotional moment where he recognized the widow of a Navy SEAL who was killed in an operation that he ordered in January, shortly after taking office. Now, the president will begin to try to follow through on a lot of the policies and promises that he made tonight, and that is where the tough part begins.